Lucrecia. Can you hear me, Lucrecia? Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> I was going to send you a, a message right now. I was going to say, where is everybody? Nobody is here. Well, now we have <laughs> five people, but one minute ago, nobody was here, only Lucrecia. <laughs> okay, so how was your day? Fine. A little bit tired, but fine. Okay, good, good. So, how is your Friday um, at this time when you don't have a class? What do you guys do? 
in my case, I'm applied to a master. So I have the class uh, Monday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, and Friday, six to nine. Really? Yes. What, what, what master are you taking, Nelly? Finance. Good. Is it online? No, at UCA. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> it's not easy. No, a little bit difficult for the time. Uh-huh. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine. Yeah, especially when you work all day and then at night you have to go there. Yes, and then I have the English class. So it's a lot of things. Good. Do you have children, Nelly? No, I'm single. Oh, okay. Well, that's an advantage. Uh, you know, like you don't have children, you can take uh, courses. Yes. That's good. I'm young for that. <laughs> good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, because once people start having babies, everything is more difficult. Yes, you have more responsibilities. Right. And you have less time. Yes. All right. Good. All right. So welcome back. Today is um, the 24th. We finish another week today. Uh, so let's have a review. Uh, what were the activities we did yesterday? We're talking about the, the new technologies in 2020. Very good, Mary. Yes, we were talking about technology innovations in 2020. Now, 2020 is next door. Uh, it's not far from now. So some of the innovations that they mentioned for 2020, it's already here. Okay, um, what else did we say? What else did we talk about? People? Gabby, Daniel, Raul, Christine, Annie. Uh, I yes, review my notes. <laughs> huh? I review my notes. Oh, okay, good. Uh, Jose, you were saying something? <clears throat> No. Okay. Um, anybody? So uh, Mary said that yesterday we were talking about uh, technology. What else did we do? That was only one of the activities. We did other things. Are you tired? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> yes, and um, I remember that we had uh, one of the activities that we have was about the classify the paragraph with with some words. I remember that. Yes, each paragraph had a name, yes. so you were supposed to choose a name for each paragraph. That is correct. Do you remember some of the vocabulary that we read? I remember the get around. Get Commute. around. Commute, very good. <clears throat> relaxing. relaxing, relaxing. Yeah, Shopping. relaxing. Deduct. 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 Right, yes. Now, what's, what's the difference between discount and deduct? Mm. Anybody? Um, um. Excuse me, teacher. What is the difference between um, discount and deduction? What's the difference? Do you know? No. 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 I don't remember. Okay. Discount is when you are paying less for something. Okay. Deduction 
is what your company applies to your salary every month. Seguro social, AFP. Retenciones. Uh, taxes, right. So those are deductions. Deductions. Right. Okay. So once again, a discount is when you are paying less for something. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And a deduction is what they apply to your check every month. Okay. All right. Um, any questions about the reading we did yesterday? You about talk about the global warming. Uh huh. Okay. And what did you guys say about global warming? Imminent is a situation imminent for the future, but it's a very the planet is very hot. Or, All right. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Extremely, um, the the weather is extreme. Exactly. And, and what are some of the consequences that we have from global warming? For example, in. The tree falling. Tree falling. Okay, tree falling provokes. Oh, provokes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the others? What consequences do we have for global warming? Gabriela, Cristina, David. The temperature increase every exactly. year. Exactly. The temperature. Yeah, the crazy, the cra a crazy weathers. Exactly. It's raining when it's not supposed to be raining and vice exactly. versa. It's not raining when it's supposed to be raining. The water in the in the oceans is is getting more or increase or I don't know. Okay. Right. Um anything else about global warming? What are some of the consequences that uh, uh that we have? So, some animals can, the can have... Polar the... animals, yes. Okay, what happens to those animals? Uh, for example, the also polar... The polar bear? What polar happens bear. to the polar bear? <laughs> the polar bear. <laughs> yes, uh, because, uh, man, the, the, the global warming can, can eliminate all the ice, which is located in the, the north. Polo North, I don't know if it's that correct. North Pole. Oh, North Pole. Right. Yeah, some, some animals are losing their environment. Exactly, their natural habitat. Mm -hmm. And the floating. Too. Floatings. Definitely, yes. floatings. Floating. Yes. yes. Did you see the commercial of the polar bear, very skinny, and he's hardly walking? No. You didn't see no. that? No. Okay, when, when you have the chance, when you finish the class, go to YouTube and just put dying polar bear. And there is an adult polar bear, skinny. You can see all the bones yeah. in the animal because uh, uh, there is no food for, for the poor animal anymore. And who is provoking that? We. We, we are pollution. We are. We are. How do you and I contribute to pollution? What is your contribution to pollution? Uh, when we use plastic for only one time, like, like uh, I don't know, how, uh, I don't know. How disposable. Disposable. Uh -huh. Yes. Or or the <coughs> no sé cómo se llama pajía straw straw straw, straw. Uh -huh. yeah straw exactly okay yes it's true uh, anything else that we can help um, for prevention of global warming use um, less the the car right why 
because uh, it, contam it contaminates the, 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 the air. Exactly, exactly. Recycling Any, too. Recycling, right. Do you recycle in your houses? No, no. 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 Okay, no. why not? <laughs> No, I, I think we don't have the the recycling culture. Exactly. Yep. And if it's a cultural problem, it's going to be very difficult to change. But I, in my case, I would like to, to recycle, but uh, I don't know, Alcaldía, how do you say? City Hall. If the City Hall invites us to do it, we, we, we do it, but they don't do nothing of that. Okay, yeah, it's a cultural problem. Uh, and I don't know if the, the trash car, the, if, the, we, if, we, if I recycle and I have many trash, trash, car, trash can, trash can, it, the, the trash car, will recycle too okay well usually they do well in my case you know when you see the garbage truck when they come yeah, if you tell them true. this is plastic they separate it if you tell them this is aluminum they separate it this is organic but in el salvador usually we put everything in the same plastic bag Exactly. Yep. Nobody classifies. What about in your company? Do you have the recycling culture? No. No. We only have a a paper. Yeah. A paper. Uh huh. Re so you guys recycle paper? Yes. yes. But there is yes. a contain, con, con, container contain, container, but I don't know if they recycle. I put all the paper there. Right, right. Do you print documents in your offices? Yes. 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 No. No, in my, in my case, no. Okay. You know what I do sometimes? Somebody's watching a game. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, try to reduce the volume. Um, what do you call it? You know what I do sometimes when I'm making exams? I look for paper that is not good anymore. And I use the reverse side and, you know, something is something. Exactly. Yeah. All right, um, any questions before we start? Any questions about yesterday? No. Now, do you remember there was a class where we were discussing um, the use of things? Do you remember the cell phone? What is the main function of the cell phone? My calls to communicate with others. Okay, to communicate or for communicating. For communicating. Right. Do you remember four and two? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Now you have a pair of tennis shoes. How do you use them? To play basketball or for playing basketball. Very good. Playing. To play or for playing. Good. Jogging. Okay, for jogging or to jog. Jog. Right? What about the sweater that you have? What's the function of it? To, pro to, to protect me for the cold or for protecting me for the cold. Very good, good. Uh, what if you have a knife in the kitchen? What's the function? To cut. Cut something. Cut something. Or for putting something. For cutting. Okay, right, right. Now, if you go downtown San Salvador, they, they have other functions too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For stalling. They put it near your to, stomach. For cutting. No, to work or for work. And you get a lot of things. <laughs> for working. 
<laughs> you get everything you want. <laughs> yes. It's a great says, oh, thing. I want a cell phone, and I remember that I have a knife. So, <laughs> so he said, well, I need a, a knife for taking cell phones, or I need a knife to take cell phones, right? Take cell phones. OK. okay. All right, good. Stop. Now, I, I sent you an image. Uh, have you read the image that I sent you? No, yet. No, no yet. Okay. Um, in the chat, there is an image with 10 different questions. Um, the questions are related with the alphabet. How many letters do we have in the Spanish alphabet? 26. 26. In the Spanish alphabet? Yes. I, I heard three different numbers now. Someone said 26, others say 27, and someone said 28. Which one is correct? 26. Okay, let me ask you this. What's the difference between the English and the Spanish alphabet? Any. Any. All right. Sure. Yes. Any is the only difference that we had. Yeah. How do gringos pronounce any? It doesn't exist. So if your last name is Nunez, how do they pronounce Nunez? Nunez. 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 How do they Nunez. pronounce it? Nunez. 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 Right, they say Nunes. Like if, N. If your last name is Quinones, how do they say it? Quinones. 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 Uh -huh. Quinones. Uh -huh. What about the natural phenomenon, el niño y la niña? They say mm. el nino, mm. la nina. No. <laughs> right. What's the difference between el niño and la niña? Do you remember? No. 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 The girl is more cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but in, in, in terms of the natural uh, phenomenon, <laughs> the Nina uh, happens, I think, uh, every year, and the Nino happens only in. 1988. Okay. The Indinino is lack of water. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. El Nino provokes everything to be dry. No rain. Mm -hmm. No rain. Yes. La Nina is different. She provokes a lot of water. They <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. cry. <laughs> yeah, so you know, like, uh, El Niño y la Niña, they provoke disasters. Yes. So they're not innocent like the name says. <laughs> no. All right. So I'm going to make groups. Um, remember, when you use the platform, it's only you and the computer. There is no interaction. So this is your space for you guys to, to practice your pronunciation, your fluency, and everything. So um, I send you the image. The image has 10 questions. I'm going to make the groups and make sure that everybody speaks. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Start talking. Gabriela, Jose, Cristina, and Daniel. Hello. All right. Hello. So what is the first question? Is, are there 26 letters in the alphabet of your language? Mm -hmm. No, it is isn't. So how many letters are there in the Spanish alphabet? I was looking for information and I, I found there is a 27. 
27 is correct. Yeah, for the ñ. Exactly, ñ is the only difference. It's the only difference, okay. Good. Okay, next question. Does your language have an alphabet? Is is in the in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Yes. Number one, are there twenty six letters in the alphabet of your language? Where in Spanish? I don't know. I think maybe it's twenty seven. <laughs> Yes, in Spanish we have 27. Uh -huh. 27 with the ñ? Ñ included, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Does your okay. language have an alphabet? Yeah, we have an alphabet in Spanish. Mm -hmm. It's the same one we have in English. Exactly. Okay. What? What? What are okay. the difference between the English alphabet and your language writing system? There is no no difference because they are the same, no? Exactly. Mm -hmm. In in Japanese, Chinese, and Russian, there is a lot of uh, difference. Sure, a lot. A lot. Yes. Okay, next question. What is the most frequently used letter of the alphabet? Okay, they they don't use the accent. They use apostrophes. Yeah, apostrophes. Uh, they don't use question mark when they are in the, in the beginning in, in the question they yeah. only use question mark at the end of the question and what else then don't use the any yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i don't and know of course pronunciation What is the most frequently used letter of the alphabet? Which letter? A. You think so? The vowels. <laughs> yes, I think. Yeah. I think it's the most used letter. Yeah, vowels are more common than, than consonants. Yes. Do you think English spelling is confusing? Uh, for us, yes. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to pronounce some words, or maybe you don't have the guide to or read. To understand or read each phrase or word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Um, are you are the letters of the alphabet pronounced the same British, American, Australian, Nigerian, English? Mm. No. They have a different pronouns. I don't know pronounce or accent. I pronounce Aha, good here. question. Are we talking about letters know. or accent? Mm -hmm. Letters? What's the difference, teacher? Um, well, if we talk about letters, you're talking about independent sounds like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. Now, if we talk about accents, like um, in the United States, they say water. British, they say water. Teacher, teacher. So accents, you know, they, they change uh, the game. Uh, accents mm -hmm. change the, the, the game. 
So mm -hmm. if we talk about letters, um, you're talking about independent yeah. sounds, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then accents, you're talking about putting all the words together and uh, pronouncing different. Uh, okay. uh, word, word complete words. Right. Yeah. Accent means like like right now I'm talking that that's an accent. But then if you talk about letters, like A, B, C, D, E, and so on. One, word, mm -hmm. one by one. Right. Yes. But A, hey, you have any problems learning the letters of the alphabet? It's, uh, Spanish or English? <laughs> I <think> English. English. <laughs> English. <laughs> we we no. know that we don't have any problems with our Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> no, mm. I don't have any problem. So oh, everything man. was very natural with for you. Sometimes <laughs> I get confused. <laughs> sometimes I sometimes I get confused with the vowels. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, when, for example, I have to to spell some words. Maybe because uh, I not get used to to pronounce separates. Right. In my case, the H and C is very difficult. <laughs> I not pronounce well. Yeah. The H. H. Uh huh. And then C. C. Mm -hmm. I can pronounce well. Okay. What's what the difference, difference between consonants and, and vowels? vowels? Vowels. The difference is that the vowel has sound and consonant doesn't have. <laughs> American alphabet, but I don't know. Search on Google. <laughs> Which question are you doing right now? The, the last one. Number nine. Number nine. No, number no, ten. No, ten, ten. Ten, the last one. Oh, the phonetic alphabet. International. Oh, the phonetic alphabet is the signs to pronounce. Yeah, the symbols. The symbols. The symbols. Uh, right. Okay. I don't know what is. Um, like for example, when you say the word car, k -k -k, the sound of letter C is represented with a K. So anytime that you see the symbol K, you know that pronunciation is going to be car, uh, color, cost, uh, Cameron. So when we talk about phonetics, we're talking about the symbols that we have for particular sounds. Yeah, I have like when you before. when you use the translate, uh, appear the symbols to pronounce. Exactly, exactly. I have seen these symbols before, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I know this is the phonetic symbol, but I don't know if it is an international phonetic alphabet. Yeah, it, it, it is international. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That is difficult to know. Yes, <laughs> because I can give you a document and everything is represented just with the symbols and you will be like, what language is this? But when you start to analyze and you try to pronounce it, the sounds begin to appear. You know, it, it's really interesting. It's, you need practice. Right, right, right. You do need practice. If you had a, a, a manual to, to understand these symbols? Um, usually when you are, um, like if you have a dictionary, a physical dictionary, uh, there is always a page 
where they explain every single sound and how the sound is represented. But nowadays people don't use uh, the dictionaries, the traditional dictionaries we had before. Now everything is digital. Yeah, I use, um, I use dictionary maybe when I was in, in high school. Grade. <laughs> high school. Yeah. Do you have dictionaries in your home? No. Yes. You do. I I think my my daughter has dictionary. Right, yeah, it, schools, they all, at the beginning of the year, they give you a list of all the things that they need. There's always a dictionary. Yes. yes. They have, I, I know. When I have yeah, some problem, I, I want to wait to Google. <laughs> yeah, and dictionaries are, you know, I used to collect dictionaries. I had like 10 different dictionaries. But little by little, I needed the space that these dictionaries were using, so I just gave them away. But you, you have a English to English or English uh, to Spanish? I, I, I had English, English, Spanish, Spanish, and bilingual. Okay. And I think they were cool because I always liked dictionaries. Yeah. You're a fan of dictionaries. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, and like I said, you know, my house is not that big, so I needed the space. So I said, I think it's time for the dictionaries to go. Okay, I'll come back. Okay. Okay. Or no. Okay, which one are you doing? We are which? discussing about the last uh, the ten. The, the what is international? Yeah, the international phonetic alphabet. Okay, let's return to the main session, and we will discuss that question there. Okay. 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 All right, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, were you able to finish all the questions? Yes. Is there any question that you did not understand? No. The, the difference between consonants and vowels. Okay, good. Um, how many vowels do we have? Five. 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 We have five vowels, but remember that every vowel has different sounds. Yes. How do yes. you say uh, dia in English? Day. 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 Uncle. No. Day. Dia. Dia. Uh. You, say, you say day. How do you say llamada? Oh, oh, like a no. And how do you say carro? Car. 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 So we have three different words with the same vowel, but three different sounds. So you say car, call, and day. day. The same letter with three different sounds. So Going back to the question, what 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 is the difference? Uh, do you remember uh, there was a class that we were discussing how to identify the number of syllables in a word? Do you remember? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what's the answer? How do you identify the number of syllables in a word? For the sound of the vowels. 
exactly. So if you hear two vowels, that tells you that the word has two syllables. If you hear four vowels, it tells you that the word has four syllables and so on. So we have five vowels. Every vowel has different sounds. So that's one of the things you guys need to remember. Spanish is completely different. We have A, E, E, O, U, and that's it. There is no other sound for vowels. English is completely different. How do you say sombría? Umbrella. 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 How do you say universidad? University. So you see, we're using the same letter, but two sounds that are completely different. Now, when you say university, what is the first sound that you hear? You. 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 Uh, no. Ah, uh, like a uh, Why? Umbrella. umbrella. You know why? Oh, okay, listen. So you say uniform, university, uniform. Unicorn. University. So what is the first sound? Why? You. You. Okay, it's, it's letter, letter, uh, it's sound, E. Uniform, you, you, unicorn, uh -huh. university. So, if you want to create a syllable, you need to have a vowel. You need to have a vowel. Uh, I don't know if you paid attention when a baby is learning how to talk, usually they pronounce vowel sounds. They pronounce vowel sounds more than what they, uh, more than consonants. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, what about the phonetic symbols? I think that was the last question. Yes. 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 Uh, let's see. I didn't know. Oh, the answer. Okay, yeah, it says the phonetic alphabet. Can somebody explain that question? The phonetic alphabet help us in order to know how the word is pronunciated. Okay, good. Someone else? What is phonetics? What is phonetics? Uh huh. Sound. Uh, there are, uh, Symbols. Yeah. Symbols. Yeah. Symbols for what? For the sound. For the sound. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so, when we're, so when we're talking about phonetics, that's exactly what we mean. Every sound <laughs> has a symbol. So when you say the word uh, color, color, Letter C is represented by the symbol K. So when you see a document and you see the symbol K, you know that that sound is always pronounced like that. So what is phonetic? Symbols that we use to represent sounds. Any other questions? No. No? Is everything clear? Maybe okay. some, some example for phonetics. Okay. Let, 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 me, uh, let me get you guys a document and I'll send it to the chat so you guys get a better idea of what we're talking about when we say phonetics. Now, which letters of the alphabet sound similar? T and K. Which one? Uh, my question was, uh, which letters of the alphabet sound similar? B. B. J. Okay, write it in the chat. Put it in the chat. N M Okay, M and M. Okay, so 
Okay, L listen to the question. Let me give you an example. B and P. They sound similar. Okay, B and V, that's a good example too. B, C, D, T, G, V, P. Uh -huh. What letter of the alphabet sounds similar? Okay. Do you know? Okay, so those are now. Have you heard about the aeronautical alphabet? No. 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 Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Tango. Yes. Yeah. Only in, in the movies. movies. I, <laughs> yeah, in the movies. Okay, in the movies. Now, let me tell you something. Um, if you work in a call center in El Salvador, you need to know the alphabet. Why? Because of this right here. When you are spelling names, it's very possible they say, did you say M or N? Did you say V or B? Did you say D or P? So what is the function of that particular alphabet? How do you say? Is it when, like when you say, you, uh, you say R or Roberto? Okay. C or H or H, that's a, the same one. Right. Confused. Now, now, how do you say De De David in English? D of David. D of David. Somebody said something? David. Do you see the chat? Like the, yes. Yes. D as in David. Aha, uh -huh. so you say M. M as in Mary. Exactly. M as in Mary. Exactly. So this is what you need to remember. When you are given a specific letter, you have to give a word as reference. And when you use that word as reference, you need to say as in. So did you say B or did you say B? And then the person says B as in Baby. B as in baby. B as a B as a baby. B as in baby. Now, if we talk about pronunciation, as in baby. What are what are the differences between those two letters? C and Z. 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 So what's the difference? Z. <laughs> okay, so how do you pronounce the first one? C. 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 Like, like in Spanish. C or no? C. Yes. C. C. How do you how do you pronounce the other? The last letter of the alphabet? Z. 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 Good. So you pronounce the first one C. And the last one you pronounce it Z. Z. Z as in Charlie, Z as in Zebra. Very good. <laughs> now, what if you say the other one? What about this one here? B and B. So look here. Read my lips. You say B and B. V. B. B, V, B, and B. Pronunciation is completely different. You say B, baby, big, blue. B, baby. B. The name is B. As in baby. What is the word? Labial. 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 Now, what do you understand by the word label? 
with a lip. With a lips. 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 Exactly. Lips. That you pronounce it only with your lips. Like in Let's Spanish. Be... Like in Spanish, right. The difference is that in Spanish, we say bolo, we say vaca. We say Valencia, we say Benitez. There is no difference. English okay. is different. Right? Okay. Now, what do you understand by that word? With teeth. Lips and teeth. Exactly. Labial dental. Now, with the first one, when you, dental. Say, when you say labial, you're only using your lips. With the second one, you make a combination of Teeth. Yeah. What teeth? Mm -hmm. Upper. From, from. Upper. 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 Upper like this. Um, upper teeth. Upper. And upper. what is the opposite of upper? Lower. The opposite of upper. Lower. Lower. So when you pronounce this letter, B, Why? You make a combination of your upper teeth lower. and your lower lip. Upper teeth and your lower lip. Upper teeth and okay. lower lip. Okay. Upper lower. Okay. Now, what about this one here? M. 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 Look, you say M. 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 What happens to your mouth when you say M? Inside. What happens? Your lips are inside. You close your mouth. You say M. And your lips, you can say that they are inside. Now, what happens when you say N? N. 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 They are completely different. You say M. N. M. M. N. With M, you close your mouth. Okay. And with N, you keep it uh, uh, open. Right. Exactly. And that's exactly what the difference is. So with the first one, you say M. With the other one, you say N. So the N. sound M. is completely different. Now, let me ask you. When you pronounce sounds, when you make sounds, which parts of your face do you use? Okay, someone said tongue. What else? Lips. Okay, you use your lips. What else? The throat. The throat. Your throat? Your, your nose. nose. Your nose. Okay, listen to this. You see, look here. You said A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Everything is moving. But which parts do I really use? The cheeks, the cheeks maybe. Uh -huh. What is the name of your chicks? Inner chicks. <laughs> facial muscle, muscle. Your facial muscle. Facial muscle. Your facial muscle. muscle. One muscle. more. Muscle. One more. We're missing one. If you say the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, what are you moving? Yeah, La mandíbula. Exactly. How do you say mandíbula in English? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do, you re do, do you remember the famous movie Tiburón? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh -huh. Yo. Yo. J A W. So, I don't uh, know. So when you are making sounds, you use your tongue, your lips, teeth, facial muscles, and you also use your jaw. This right here. Not your chin, 
but everything. Not cheap, but everything. Okay. Um, any other question uh, related with the uh, with the discussion that we had? No. Everything is clear. Yeah, everything is clear. Okay. So, what plans do you have for the weekend? Okay. It's studying the platform. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, no. That's, yeah, say that, say that too. That, that's that what I call a disciplined student. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? I did. Who? Uh, the name? Mary. Mary. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be like this. Mary, what's your last name? <laughs> <laughs> Example yeah. on Monday. <laughs> All right. Um, seriously, uh, what what plans do you have for the week? Well, that can be a plan. I mean, use the platform. Well, yes. in my case, I have to work uh, Saturday uh, the whole day. The whole day. Okay. I only will have uh, Sunday. The whole day. Okay. I used to work Sundays all day. It was terrible. <laughs> really? But, it is. But someone has to do it. <laughs> Someone has to do it. But I quit. I told the guy, look, I need the money, but I also need my life. Yeah. Yes. Yep. What about the others? Do you guys have any plans? My kids all clean the house. Oh, okay. Yes. All the house, Annie? No, as a the living room and uh, two two rooms. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> All the house. <laughs> <laughs> All <in> the house. <laughs> yeah, but two rooms is it, it's not much. No, it's not. Yeah, clothes. The, the clothes. Okay. What about the others, Gabby? Do you have any plans for the weekend? Yeah, I spend with the family. I have a child with my husband. We have my, my child is three years old, so she needs to be playing the whole day. Oh, yes. Yeah. I know. That's the only thing like they to... have in mind. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Daniel Mendez, do you have any plans? Yes, I have. I have to, to have time. I have to, I have to have time for my children. Okay, good. Ricardo, do you have plans? Uh, I'm going to the stadium with my wife. Oh, who's playing? Say Santa Tecla versus Alianza. Oh, good. And which one do you like? Uh, Santa Tecla. Oh, hold because on. Because I'm leaving Santa Tecla. Okay, what's your last name? <laughs> <laughs> Zero. You gave me the wrong answer. <laughs> Zero. I'm just playing. Christina, do you have any plans? Yes, I have. Uh, on Saturday, I'm going to visit my parents in Sonsonate. And uh, Sunday, I, I'm going to uh, to celebrate a, a, day, a day family. A family day. A family day. Good. Annie, you say you're going to clean your house. No, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Annie Garay said that. What about Annie Valencia? Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, no, I hope I will go to out um, with my husband tomorrow in the night. <laughs> oh. And, yes. And you're going the, dancing? No, only the dinner. Good. She will, she will begin with weekend tomorrow. Good. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a long weekend. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lucrecia, do you have any plans? Uh, yes. Um, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. When I... is your birthday? <laughs> my birthday is uh, October 28th. Okay. okay. So you're celebrating in advance. Yes, I'm going to celebrate uh, Saturday. This coming Saturday. 
this coming Saturday, yes. Okay, good. So don't forget the cake on Monday for everybody. <laughs> yeah. coffee, coffee. Oh, and the don't coffee too. Huh? <laughs> so All right, worry. good. Okay, uh, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So we're gonna have to finish the session here. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you guys rest on the weekend and we start a new week uh, this coming Monday. Have a nice weekend. Thanks, Thanks you too. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your family you. and your friends. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.